So what I study is how cells communicate with each other, how they send signals back and forth to coordinate their activities. So it has to do with wound healing, organ regeneration, and when things go wrong with cancer. So cancer is a situation where the cells are no longer listening to the signals properly, and so therefore they're responding improperly to the signals. Um, one of the major problems with cancer in general is that um, a single tumor is not a problem because doctors can go in, remove it, and the patient's fine. The problem is that when a cancer tumor forms, sometimes some of the cells in the tumor will move away from the tumor and will go someplace else and start up a new tumor. It's called metastasis. And that's the problem because now you've got these secondary and tertiary tumors popping up all over the body, and that's hard to control. And so one of the things that's interesting about this is that cell communication controls whether or not an individual cancer cell is going to move away from the main tumor and go someplace else. So one of the things I've been trying to understand is how are these signals affecting the cells so that they crawl or don't crawl away from the initial tumor. I've been looking at uh, specific proteins that are being activated and deactivated inside of the cell. So there are a number of proteins involved in sending the signal from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell, and these signals interact with the skeleton of the cell, which allow it to change its shape to start crawling. And so I found out that there are these proteins that are interacting with each other, and the idea is that if we can find a way to either one, block that interaction, or two, block the signal that tells those proteins to interact, then we can hopefully top, stop a cancer from metastasizing. You don't have these secondary tumors popping up, and it makes curing cancer a lot easier. Both the undergraduates and the graduate students are active in my research. They, um, each student has their own project. Um, each project is, of course, part of the larger goal of the lab, which is, to, again, to understand how cells communicate with each other. So what we do, basically, is we break the project down into specific units. So, for example, I have an undergraduate whose job it is to look at the effects of these different signals on how a cell can crawl. And so they'll look at different signals, they'll look at um, different cell types, regular and cancer cells. And the idea is that they learn a specific technique or several techniques and then use that repetitively in different cell lines. The teaching is a very important part of what I do, but I think that both the teaching and the research um, dovetail with each other. And so I really don't think that you can actually teach science without teaching research.